Earlier I spoke with Patricia De Janeiro, senior fellow at the World Policy Institute, and I asked her in the face of escalating tensions after the death of four teens in the Middle East, where do we go from here? We have to stop the violence immediately. That's where we need to go from here. This situation has completely escalated. It's affecting the lives of families and children. What's happening right now is horrifying, and it's kind of given each of the governments on both sides the right to to do this, you know, tit for tat. We need to get the violence calmed down and stop this cycle immediately. This is very, very t terrifying. You mentioned the governments. Have we now arrived at a place where there is simply no trust between Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas? I don't think there's been trust there for a long time, unfortunately. Uh, you know, but this situation is definitely escalating and making that, that whole or any ounce of even being able to talk to each other almost impossible. Uh, you know, there's a call today for um, Secretary uh, Kerry to come to the region immediately. I think that's probably a really good idea. The U.S. needs to really get its hands in here and say, okay, let's everybody stop the shooting and stop the bombing at this point because. Further escalation is not going to help anyone, and the region is already is so volatile that it is too dangerous to let this continue. And that was a call from Senator John McCain. So you, you feel the U.S. can have a constructive role in the region? Well, we can have a constructive role in the region if we're given the, the ability to actually take the authority and, and make that constructive role. We have our hands tied here because of the influence of the Israeli lobbies on Congress. So the U.S. often can't impose anything that they you know, they would like to do in order to help quell or move the parties forward. The president himself can make that decision. However, at this point, there has been so many, you know, so much bad blood within the dynamics of, of the administration and, and all of our political leaders that I, I just don't know how we can move it from here. You say he has a constructive role, but Secretary of State John Kerry made another attempt at a peace accord. It was well attended, but with no success. Do you feel the United States' influence as a mediator is waning? Well, they, they've allowed their influence as a mediator to wane. And, you know, that's been basically this A, hands-off approach to the Middle East that's happened through this administration, which is obviously not the right way to go. Um, and, you know, the second reason for that is is this whole idea that we we can't criticize or or change the way the Israeli government is behaving or even interfere in that. I mean, I think we have to look at how much we support that country in various ways, including monetary, political, et cetera. And with those, you know, with that kind of support, I think you know, we, we should have a little say on, on um, you know, quelling and how to quell the violence at this sure. point. On a much broader level, all over the Middle East, we have Israel openly supporting an independent Kurdistan. U.S. and Iranian officials reportedly held talks on June 16th in Vienna over the advance of Islamist insurgents in Iraq. And then we have ISIL fighters continuing to march. Are we at a tipping point in the Middle East? Yeah, I think we're, we've passed the tipping point in the Middle East. You know, we've been intervening there for such a long time. We've separated groups. We've separated tribes. You know, it's not just the U.S. itself. It's been kind of a full Western dynamic in the region. But we really have to get in there and, and, you know, help the parties understand each other and talk to each other. And I think this is what we missed when we pulled out of Iraq. We pulled out with no solid plan. And I think that was the fight, that was the, the fault of, of First, the Bush administration and then the Obama administration not knowing how to follow up. You know, these, these things are very difficult and complex, and I think that's why it's so important we get our diplomatic house back in order instead of neglecting it as we have for such a long time and making it relatively ineffective. We need strong diplomats to go in there and move, move the military solution out of the picture and the diplomatic solution back in the picture with people who understand the region, how to engage the parties and have the pa patience basically to help those parties move forward. And we didn't have that piece in the pie, or it was basically neglected by both administrations. I think we can all agree there is no easy solution here. Patricia DeGenero, thanks for joining us. Appreciate no. your time.